is one of the most beautiful times of the day. Nothing quite beats that feeling of getting over the struggle of getting out of bed early, only to be greeted with a view as stunning as this one. Welcome to St Combs Beach in Aberdeenshire, as I venture out in a quest to shoot a slightly different angle of the famous Rattray Head Lighthouse. The Rattray Head Lighthouse has been a regular feature on my channel pretty much since the beginning, but I have never shot it from the location and angle that I'm at this morning. I've come to a little beach in a little seaside village called St Combs, where you can see this lighthouse from the distance. And my hope is that we can get some nice wave images coming in as the sun begins to rise and get some beautiful light silhouetting this famous lighthouse. It's a stunning location, it's something a little bit different and if I'm honest I have very rarely seen an image from this angle online so it's probably not a very well known location but that makes it even more special. that the sunrise this morning is beautiful and we've got the lovely silhouette of Rattray Head Lighthouse that I was looking for. It's actually the sea that I'm feeling most captivated by. There is this stunning blue tone above the sea this morning. One of those tones and those tinges that you only really get in the winter months and it's just, it's so captivatingly beautiful. You know sometimes you come out with the intention of taking images and with the intention of a certain image in mind. But nature sometimes has other plans for you. And I often find sometimes just sitting back and admiring nature, even if you've got that stunning conditions that you wanted for your photo shoot, it can actually be more meaningful in the long run to just admire it. And this isn't the first time that this has happened. I did make a video once in Lossy Mouth where this exact same thing happened. I got up early for sunrise, we had stunning conditions. But it was that conditions and the way that nature was just so beautiful around me that I ended up going home having not taken any photographs. This morning I have taken a few shots of the lighthouse silhouette on the horizon. But it's just the being out here and admiring this view and enjoying it. That's what I'm really taking from this morning. It's not the photography.
guys over here very beautiful it has popped above the clouds now and the lights quite intense so it's not making the best light for photography but as I was saying a minute ago it's not really this that's captivating me I have just taken some images but it's this this sea the beauty of I guess just watching the waves crashing into shore that subtle orange tinges that you get as you get away from the, the full force of the sunrise and you come sort of halfway it is so beautiful I've got to say I haven't properly been out for sunrise since that video that I created at uh, Fraserburgh Beach that morning was stunning and this morning is almost mimicking that morning um, almost identical to be fair I've, I'm up on a sand dune I'm looking at the sunrise I've got nice silhouettes in the background only this time it's the lighthouse and the sand dunes here rather than the windmills and the, the sand dunes in Fraserburgh but it's got the same vibe about it and the same feel. I guess about getting up early and coming out to witness times of day like this you know it's not often nowadays I think that many of us have the time to do it but when we do it can just be such a fantastic way to start the day being down on a beach feeling the full force of nature and now that we're into December as well you know you don't get many days that aren't crazy cold and blowing gale force winds so when you get a sort of lull in the weather like we have today coming down to the beach you get these in these just stunning colours that are so visually appealing to the eye and they make great photographs too but I always think it's nice sometimes to step back from the camera and just admire these moments and these views for yourself just enjoy them and take them in I've got to say one of the biggest advice that I give to people who are starting landscape photography especially people who go out and snap hundreds of photographs every time they go out I often feel like that's what I used to be like and although it's a good way of learning your camera settings and what works and what doesn't and practicing composition I think when it comes to landscape photography especially you have to be able to read the light and work out what pictures will work best in what light conditions and that doesn't always happen by sitting behind the camera taking hundreds of photographs that can often happen by sitting back and just admiring the view before you and watching how the light hits different parts of the landscape at different times watching how the sun rises and how it casts the light through your scene and often doing that and taking the time to visually enjoy that and look all around you it's not always just the sunrise or sunset that can be captivating light it could be what's going on around it and if you're behind your camera all the time you sometimes miss that so take a step back from time to time even though you want to go home with cracking images you can take many photographs if you want but every five ten minutes just step back and spend a few minutes admiring the scene before you admiring the light the way the clouds are the way the sea is or whatever location you're at and just enjoy it and I can guarantee you that admiring the light in that way will make you a better landscape photographer because you'll be able to read it and anticipate what may happen with the light in future shoots which will then determine what photographs you take and could lead to better and more interesting images.
thought a nice way to finish off today's video is to ask you guys what got you into landscape photography in the first place. All I can say is that I got into landscape photography as a way and a means of connecting with the natural world. It gets me out of bed in the morning, it gets me to beautiful locations, sometimes locations that I often wouldn't go to if it wasn't for photography. And while my ultimate goal is of course to go home with an image that I can be happy with, I often find that just having that motivation that the camera gives me to go out into nature is enough to make me happy or to make me feel content. Just being here this morning has been a great experience to start my day out in nature, to witness the sunrise, to witness these beautiful crashing waves and to see the stunning winter light that we have here on the beach this morning. And for me, just witnessing that is enough. I used to get so disheartened when I began photography, when I didn't go home with an image and that disheartened and that, and that disappointment, I suppose you could say, that I used to feel was really intense. So I sort of learnt just to feel grateful and appreciate being out in nature and just to take that time to step back and just admire the conditions. So what got you into landscape photography? Was it because you wanted to go home with beautiful images? Was it a way to reconnect with nature? Or is it just, like me, a motivation and almost an excuse to get out into nature? It just gives you that extra pull that you need. And even if you don't go home with those images, you still feel satisfied. Let me know in the comments below, because I'd be very interested to find out. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. This has been a very nice and relaxing morning this morning here, down at St. Combs Beach on the Aberdeenshire coast. I'll see you all again next time. Thank you.